most people in America presume that they have the right to their own computers, their own cell phones, their own technology, their own job opportunities, and their own social media profiles. Apparently that's not the case because while I've been working in a community off Wi-Fi, what I have found is that the liars of our land, the retail second hands, the people who are panhandlers and anyone else with a little bit of paltry capabilities, even the police, like to fuck me and other people out of their abilities. What I mean is that today I'm looking at my desktop, finding that people have illegally and immorally taken things out of folders that I was collecting for my life in terms of the files I've designed, the things I've created and organized, and putting it all over my desktop and removing things that are totally mine. I've had brochures that I've written on homelessness deleted from my thumb drives. I've had photographs of myself and my past wife deleted, the only ones I've had over the course of time. What I find absolutely offensive is that these people think they continue to have rights over me as if they were God in heaven, and the truth is they're not. But the reason that they get away with it is because local police don't do anything about it. And what they never think about is not the who's next mentality. What they never get is that those type of players, those type of hackers, those type of innocent little things that they do kind of whackers are the types of kids that take a car like they did on campus drive it 100 miles an hour and they send it into a ravine isn't that what happened two days after a pot shop went in i mean come on where the hell were the people who did the rental on that shop you see liability lays with the people who lie liability lays with the people who lie about human rights Liability lays with the hackers and the crackheads who never stop to think where their liabilities lie.